so till now what we discussed is we talk about new asset accounting uh, basic overview how it works what has changed but now we will get into the system we'll configure the new asset accounting and the system we have in front of us is currently is s4 hana system you can see at the bottom i am targeting the cursor it's s4 hana system where sap has you know changed the asset accounting from classic to new in hp7 we get an option to select from classic or new but in simple finance or s4 hana there is no option it simply says only new asset accounting okay so we'll start with end to end configuration we will we will see how that goes we will start with the new company code fresh company code we will do the basic configuration for the for the ledgers because the ledger is playing the important role in new asset accounting so we will configure that end to end so let's start with this we will create a company we will create a company code and then we will move on and that company code will be base of this entire training session so we will say company for testing we will give country us we will give language key english and then we have a currency usd sorry and then we save it we will have a new transport request we will create a new request there new asset accounting end to end new asset accounting and then we have enterprise structure tr number 1 we will we will track with the numbers okay and then is saved so we will save all the our configurations related to asset accounting related to enterprise structure in the same company code then we will have edit check delete company code so we will copy delete check company code we will try to copy something at least we should have we will we will copy from the standard us01 company code that will help us and we will say aa01 copy only copy the gl account if you want to look at the same chart of account as the source company code yes i want to copy yes i want to copy number range yes so i'll copy everything from enterprise structure perspective this more easy job rather creating everything fresh i'll have a new one yes i will transport this i will say okay company code us00 copy to aa01 there we go and there we have so now aa01 will have all the features of us01 we will give it a good name appliance better okay 
Okay. Now we will open another session and we will see the global assignment of this company code. What all is assigned? Because we have to make a copy. So it's OBY6 where we'll see, can see the global settings. We will see what all things have been assigned to this company code by default. So we have a chart of account assigned. We have fiscal year variant there. We have a company we can say. Okay. And then we save it. So that's my company is ready. So let me see if my, I have some GL accounts in my company. If I go to FS00, I should be looking at some GL accounts. I should have something in my company, AA01. I should be looking at a company code level. So I should go to GL accounts in company code. And if I see this, I have all the chart of GL accounts. Okay. So that's good. Now, since we have created a company, let's see what the posting period variant. I'm still not into asset accounting. I'm still working on the global settings of the company code. So we still have a posting period variant as triple zero one. So let's see what is in triple zero one. We'll go to OB 52. We will see what is there in triple zero one. Okay. Now we'll go to financial accounting global setting. The main configuration start from here, where we have the GL setting, we have the ledger settings, we have all the key settings there. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. So we will get into financial accounting global settings. We have ledgers. Define settings for ledgers and currency types. So we have three ledger defined. So this is very important. You know, we talked about this in the theory session as well. This is very important. The, le the ledger settings, the standard ledger is the leading ledger. Then we have a one as we will name it as appendix ledger. And then we have this one is non leading ledger. Okay. deactivate ledger for a company codes so so we are not deactivating anything This is already done. And then we will see execute consistency check for GL settings. So these are all the new GL settings. Okay. Let's see if we have a number range or not. AA01 is my company code. Do I have a number range or not? I do have.
I should not have any external number range okay there we go we say okay now let's try to post a JV because that will help us to understand whether the system is working fine or not so we will go to FB50 So I'm just posting a JV to check whether my system is fine. Do I need to do something? So I'll say debit my and it's ten thousand dollars test 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 posting. Okay. Test and then I'll try to put some cash or bank account so that I can try to book a and I can say this is credit and there we have ten thousand dollars okay so there is a tolerance still not defined we have to define the tolerance I think it should work fine we have defined the tolerance so this was just a uh, again the enterprise level settings I have to I think come back and I'll enter again FB50 so this this transaction will at least help me to understand whether my GL settings are complete because until I complete my GL settings I cannot go to fixed assets I'll select cash okay no amount tolerance entered for company code this should have been defined I just defined this
I think we should be good now. We should be able to post a JV. Once we post a JV, we should be moving ahead with. I need to go back. These are the normal errors you face when you do the config. So don't worry about these. You will try to learn to resolve them. Okay. better now it requires a cost center and I should be giving my cost center to which I I want to put the, put the cost so now I have to do my CO settings first that's what system is saying so let's let's go to controlling area We'll go to config, we will go to enterprise structure, we will go to definition, we will go to controlling and we'll go to maintain controlling area. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, now we'll create the cost centers. We'll go to master data first because that's pretty important. <coughs> 